Just after two days of rest, Quen has come up with yet another model. This time, they have released Quen Image Edit, which is an extension of their previous Quen Image model that we have covered extensively on our channel. In this video, we are going to install this Quen Image Edit on our local system and we will see how exactly it edits the images. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe as that helps a lot. Let's get right into it and let me edit one image on my local system. As you can see that I am running this Gradio demo on my local system. I have created it myself and you can also obtain the code. Just buy me the coffee from the homepage of channel. Happy to send you the code uh, in full. And for all the step by step instructions, keep following the video as how to get this thing installed. So first up, let's upload an image from your local system. I'm just going to go with one of the images. Now, one thing you need to make sure is that image is of very good quality. So I just want to check out the bear here. So I'll just say change the bear to polar bear. That's it. And that's it. So I'm just focusing on polar bear here. Let's click on edit. I will keep rest of it as is the CFG and inference steps. While that happens, let me show you the VRAM consumption. By the way, this is my Ubuntu system and I am using this NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM and you can see that it is using just over 59 gig of VRAM. So you would need at least that for the full model. If you want to go with the uh, quantized version, I think you can easily run it in under 24 GB of VRAM. And that is also available in their Hugging Face model card, which you can check out here. Now, while it generates the image, let's talk a bit more about the model. So as I said, it's an image editing extension of their Quen image family built on top of a large 20 billion parameter vision language model. And there you go. We have our polar bear and you can see that it, not only it has tried to replace the bear with the polar bear, which is the main focus of my prompt, but it has also tried to give us some more information as you can see around the environment but as my prompt was not related to that it has just stuck with the bear which is quite good so let's get right into it i will now show you the installation instructions and then we will play around a bit more around this model and if you are looking to rent a GPU on a very affordable price, you can find the link to their um, to mass computer videos description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Now the first step is to install all the prerequisites. I am going to install this Torch, Torch Vision. Diffuser is very important and it is going to install it. Let's wait for it. And while it installs all the prerequisites, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video, which is iGent, the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. And you can find the link in video's description. And meanwhile, everything is installed. Let's now run our code and this code which i just showed you uh, it also downloads the model the first time when you run it from hugging face so there you go so the model is being downloaded and i think it takes around um, 30 to 40 gp of disk space including all the components so let's wait for it to get downloaded and then it will launch the gradio demo and while it downloads, let's talk a bit more about the architecture of the model because it's always a very good idea to learn the architecture and other details about this model. So what happens is that this model is quite unique in the sense that it doesn't just take your prompt and guess what to do. It actually tries to combine two different perspectives on the image. First, it runs a picture through Quen 2.5 VL, which handles visual semantic control, which primarily means to understand what's in the image, objects, layout, relationships. At the same time, it runs the image through a variational autoencoder, which deals with the pixel level appearance, which means textures, colors, fine details. These two streams are then fused so the model can balance semantic consistency 
with appearance precision. The model is especially strong at text editing inside images and I'm going to check it out because I haven't really tested it but we will test it together and I will show you raw without editing because this is something very notoriously hard for most generative model. So they say that thanks to its dual path architecture it can add, remove or modify English and Chinese text while keeping the original font size and style intact. On top of that it supports both low level edits like object color changes or background tweaks where everything else stays untouched and high level edits like rotating an object, changing the whole style or doing creative transformation while still respecting the scene's semantic. Okay, so let's go back and check what is happening. Our model is almost downloaded. I think it has been downloaded. And our Gradio demo is now running. Let's upload an image. So I have uploaded this uh, one of my own image and I'm asking it to obtain the side view. I'll just keep everything as is. Let's click on edit. Let's wait. And there you go, it has produced a side image, not bad at all by the way. Yes, some of the features of my face are missing, but then still um, not bad at all. There is also a hint of a stubble there. Pretty cool. And the jacket is there, the hair are there, pretty nice. And even I think it has enhanced image quality. Okay, let's try out a few more. Okay, let's try out another one. It can also flip the image so i'm asking it obtain the back side so it should um, give us the back view and by the way all of these images are ai generated ones and i think it has done wonderfully well in this one because you see not only it has grabbed the right color and texture of the hair and the wavy nature of them plus if you look at this on the left hand side there's a strap and it has very very correctly got the strap also look at the background image and also this white sort of furniture everything is perfect about this image seriously even the skin tone is all good there is also a sunlight and it is also reflecting it there and it has also produced a blur like same as previously in this original image so looks pretty good in the next test i'm trying to change the expression so again a an AI enhanced image and I have asked it to change the expression of man's face as sad and look at this yes there are uh, it, it was not able to completely change the you know my facial features but still not bad really seriously not bad at all <laughs> and not only it can flip the image to back and front it can also do the left and right so in this one again an ai generated image i am asking it to obtain the left side so let's see if it flips the image to the left or not so let's wait for it and there you go so it has given us a side pose which is not bad at all but i think it could done better but again still not bad at all okay i will ask it to change the color of lipstick to maybe pink Let's see if it can do that. Let's wait for it and takes around under a minute to edit an image by the way. So I'm just pausing it to show you. And there you go. It has changed the color to what we asked. Pretty good. Now let's see if it can write the text or not. And there you go. What do you think? I just asked it that write like video on t-shirt of girl in bold. Keep rest of image as same. And it has written it. And the text is amazingly good and you can even edit this text if you like you can also do the editing of images by removing or adding objects for example i have given it this um, plate of curry and i'm asking it to remove this hair strand i have just asked to asked it to remove hair from the curry you see this this is the hair let's see how it goes and there you go it has removed the hair and it has even enhanced time you see this is the location where hair was and it has kept the rest of it as same so if i make it bigger this is the image which it has generated and of course you can uh, improve your prompt in order to get the full plate okay so now we can also add and uh, stuff here so i'm just going to ask it add a grilled chicken piece in the plate 
let's see what it does and there we have our grilled chicken piece and you can do a lot of other stuff like and you can change the background you can fix few things it doesn't fixes uh, doesn't fix the blur that much but still does a decent job and remember <clears throat> these image models are more suited in environments like comfy ui and stuff where you can have a lot of knobs and stuff where you can tweak these things you can add cfg you can play with schedulers and samples and that sort of the stuff but still with just a text prompt this sort of um, performance is really really good let me know what do you think please like the video and subscribe to the channel and as i requested if you want the code just buy me a coffee from the home page of the channel and you know support the channel please also another thing is that a lot of uh, piracy is happening of my videos and uh, code stuff so that is why i have decided that you know if i'm spending like three to four hours every uh, night why not really i mean get something out of it because a lot of big names even the top names um are stealing the stuff i have raised it a couple of times but it just falling on deaf ear so i had to take this step just to at least you know get something out of it and make this thing a bit difficult for those stealers and a lot of people are asking me who are those youtubers who are stealing my stuff look uh, just pick top three four names um, and then you would know who that is but anyway i'm not going to pick any fights here i just want to um, keep doing what i'm doing and if you need the code this is the link on the home page of channel buy the coffee just leave your comments there. Be generous. Happy to send out the code. Thank you for all the support.